All right, hello and welcome to ABA Basketball on SFBN. Today we have a great matchup between the Bennington Martins from Vermont who are taking on the Herkimer Originals in their first game of the season. Today's game is played at Notre Dame High School in New York. I'm James Beer, not on the call. Should be a great matchup here. Both these teams are not new to the ABA. Jawan Malone had a big get day yesterday for the Martins with 33 points. Obviously one of their better players, a veteran for them, but both these teams founded in 2021. Both are in their third season and both are bringing back veterans. The big difference here is that the Bennington Martins have already played three games this year. They're 2-1. and one. Yesterday they took their first loss to the Providence Pirates, one of the better teams in the ABA, only by 128-115, to 115, so not a bad loss at all there, especially when you're playing a team as good as that. Like I said, Herkimer, first game of the season, head coach Steve Bobby Ars is looking for his boys to come out fighting hard. Bobby Ars, funny enough, is a SUNY Potsdam Hall of Famer. Over his four years there, the team went 112 and 10, including an undefeated season in 1986 and a D3 national championship. He is a former Notre Dame High School student, so he's playing his alma mater today. Good to know. Both teams feature a lot of guys who are coming back for not their first season their second and third seasons with their respective teams but a lot of them like the Herkimer originals have ABA veterans coming over from other teams like Matt Baldwin the 33 year old who is a five-year ABA vet and last year set the OGs the Herkimer OGs record for 13 threes in a game both these teams look like they're gonna come out fighting both have strong offenses we'll see who prevails in this one just about to get started here if you're new to the ABA, you should know there are some interesting rules that uh, we'll go over throughout the game. There's the 3D light, which is if a team who's bringing the ball up has the ball stolen before half court, the light will go on. And if the opposing team scores, they will have an extra point added onto their total. So a three-pointer becomes a four-pointer, two-pointer becomes a three, as you can guess. There are also some interesting rules about foul outs. The player gets six fouls different than the NBA, a little funky there, and the overtime rule, if it goes past the first overtime, it's first to ten. There are no double overtimes like the NBA in the ABA. So definitely some interesting rules we'll have to try to keep up with tonight. Notre Dame High School in upstate New York. Bennington's been traveling a bunch recently. They were in Providence yesterday. They were in Albany last weekend, but they're getting their reps and they looked really strong against the Albany 
Albany 5-1-8 Ballers, excuse me, as they won both those games very convincingly. But against the Pirates, like I said, a tough, tough team to beat. They took a loss but put up a good fight. Bennington's without Terrell Camp, one of their veteran forwards today due to injury, so that is definitely a loss for them. We'll see how that affects them with their play under the hoop. Last week we saw DeMonte White put up a really solid game. He's one of their big men. And Heath Mason, we could see a little bit more out of him, the 21-year-old from Castleton University. So local to Bennington. As they're announcing the lineups here, we're getting very close to the start of the game. The Herkimer Originals, first game of the season, but third in the ABA. The name is derived from the origins of basketball, which is very interesting. Apparently Lambert Will was an inventor and invented and created the rules for basketball. Some claims there over whether it was Lambert Will or James Naismith, which is the consensus, you know, creator of basketball. But the story goes that Lambert Will was the creator and that he and his mother knitted the first net and rim. It's a very interesting story there. We're just about to get going here. Looks like we're about to have jump ball. Herkimer Originals wearing pink for their stomp out cancer game today. Next week they have their military appreciation game, so it's good to see the team giving back to their community. Both teams sporting a 12-man rosters today. Bennington with more players injured, so we'll see how that affects them early on. Excitement from the crowd as we get right towards the jump ball. The iconic red, white, and blue ABA ball. And the tip goes to Bennington. They'll try to get something started quickly. Surrounded immediately, though. John Riles with the ball for Bennington. Facing some tough defense. Got to work something early on. Tries to drive through. Ball is stolen by Herkimer very early on. And a very nice bucket there by Ralph Williams, who's the Herkimer team captain. Early on, we're seeing some fast-paced play here. Some tough defense. As I mentioned, that 3 and D rule can really help a team make the difference. Shot from the corner. Bang! A big play there by the Bennington Martins. Bringing the score back already. Herkimer with the ball. Cross half court. Williams. Passes to his teammate, Lavoie Leggett Sr., who puts the bucket in. Nice shot there by Lavoie. Long pass by the Martins. Trying to get something going on the right side of the court. Dribbling around towards the hoop. Shot is up, shot is off, but rebound Bennington, and that one's good. Making it a 4-4 game. Both teams going back and forth so far early on. Pass over to the corner. Herkimer with the ball. Driving in. Shot is off off the side of the board. Heath Mason with the rebound there for the Martins. Running up the court quickly is John Riles off. Number 24, Josh Gregory with the rebound, but he's in trouble. Finds Brent Williams, South Carolina Gamecock alum. Brent Williams with the ball. Over to his teammate. Gregory passes. Gregory with the ball again. Trying to find a shot. Trying to fight his way through. He puts it up. That one is off. But a rebound by Williams. And get another play going. Brenton Williams, the shot. That is off as well. Rebound by the Martins. They'll bring it back here. Ball is all over the place. Heath Mason with the ball. Looked to shoot there. Passes it out to his teammate. And that one's good off the bounce. A nice shot there by the Martins. Ralph Williams with the ball now. Drives in, passes out, shot is up, shot is off. Nice rebound there by Jawan Malone, who, like I said earlier, had a nice 33-point big game for him. The ABA vet, his shot is good. A beautiful shot there by Malone. As the Martins have run up to a 10-4 lead so far. Gregory with the ball. Drives in, puts up the shot. That one's off. Martins have the ball. It's seeming like Herkimer is getting a little bit desperate with some some quick, just not well thought out plays. Ball in the corner, drove it in, and it looks like we got a foul on that play. It's going to stay Martin's ball. Well, 
gets it to Herman Suazo, the forward. Back out to John Riles. His shot is good. A beautiful shot there by Riles. Last week he was cooking against the 5-1-8 ballers, and he's going to look to continue that tonight as one of the leaders of the Martins team. Williams with the ball. Dribbling, trying to find something to set up. Gets it down to Bradley Christian, but ball is stolen. Riles with the ball, but his ball is stolen all over the place right now. Williams, the long pass, shot is good a beautiful shot in the corner there for the Herkimer originals what a play quick steal quick pass quick shot and they get it done Martins with the ball now cross half court oh contested there Williams stole the ball but there's a foul on the play it's gonna be Herkimer ball. Brent Williams bringing up the ball. Passes to his teammate. Gets it over to Ralph Williams. His shot is good. A nice shot there by Ralph Williams. 12-10 now. Herkimer's fought their way back. Only down two points. Pass by the Martins. Shot is up. He's fouled on it. And it's going to be Martins ball. Going to the line now, number zero, Jawan Malone. He already had a big shot earlier in this game. Big day yesterday for him. From watching the Martins last week, Malone played some great defense. And as we heard yesterday, he put up a nice 33 points. As we were going to go to timeout, we'll be right back. <laughs> Back here at Notre Dame High School, it's currently 12 to 10 with the Martins in the lead, but it's been a back and forth game through the first four minutes so far. Both teams have had guys that are looking really solid. Right now, number zero, Jawan Malone at the line for the Martins, hoping to add to their total. His first shot, a nice one there. Malone's second shot now. That one is good. Herkimer with the ball now. Facing some defense from John Riles early on. Trying to cross half court. The ball to Ralph Williams. A nice pass over to the corner. Trying to make a play here. Back to Williams. His shot. Good. Again, Ralph Williams on fire right now. Shooting the three ball extremely well. Ball is stolen by Herkimer now. They're going to go on another fast break here. Brenton Williams. Williams. Two Williams are cooking right now. Nice pick there set by Trent Adamson. Ball down in the paint. Fights through. Tries to put up the shot and is fouled on the play. It's going to be a Herkimer player at the line. That's number seven, Lavoy Leggett Sr. In his third season with the OGs, they call him a original original as he was there with the team for their inaugural season. Boy Leggett Sr., the 6'6 six, six forward, getting the line for the first time today. His first shot is good. Nice bucket there to give Herkimer the lead. Leggett will shoot again. His second shot. Is off. Rebound John Riles. It'll be Martin's ball. Riles trying to get something going here. Keith Mason. Oh, 
Ball is loose, but Martins are able to recover. Over in the corner, Jawan Malone. Bang! A great shot there by Malone. Very impressive for him. He's already having another great day after his great game against the Pirates yesterday. Steal. Martin's ball shot is off. Herkimer ball now. He'll bring it up the court looking for a pass. Avoiding that 3D light coming on. Brenton Williams passes it over to Christian who gets it over to Ralph Williams. Who drives through, puts up the shot. That one bounces around and is off, but rebound Herkimer. And it's going to be a Herkimer player going to the line, it seems. Trent Adamson, number 15. The St. Lawrence alum, who is one of their only 1,000-point scorers in school history. So definitely someone who's put in the years of work in the college level, now playing in the ABA. Adamson's first shot is off. Goes in and out. Martin's now up 19-14. Could use a shot here by Adamson. Subs coming in. That is uh, number 25, Matt Baldwin, the 33-year-old. We'll talk more about him later, but... Definitely some older guys in the ABA, but not quite that old. Nice shot there by Adamson. Yes, Matt Baldwin, the 33-year-old five-year ABA vet, set an OG's record last year with 13 threes made in a game. Heck of a day for him. Dominique Threat for the Martins pulls up. Nice shot there. It's going to be Herkimer ball. Running away a little bit right now is Herkimer. Pass to Baldwin in the corner. Way off. Number 15 shot, deflected afterwards, and the Martins recover. Malone with the ball. He puts up a shot. That one's off. Able to recover. Herman Suazo, and that shot is good. 24 points now for the Martins. They're on a hot streak right now. Lavoy Leggett Sr. with the ball. He drives through, tries to fight, and a, the and one. Let's see if that shot was good. But he will be going to the line. Lavoy Leggett Sr. second time at the line now today. Hoping to get Herkimer completion on their three-point play here. Leggett. His first shot. is in nice there for Herkimer making it 24-18 big play needed there as the Martins were on a crazy hot streak Dominique Threat with the ball now the rookie to the ABA shot by John Riles that one's off Martins are able to recover but foul and the ball is going to Herkimer Herkimer's with the ball now. Matt Baldwin, number 25 there. Finds his teammate over on the right side of the court. That shot is up. A long shot there. That one's off. Martin's able to grab the rebound. It's Dominique Threat with the ball now. Threat tries to swerve his way through. Puts up a nice shot there. And that one is good. Dominique Threat looking like a super agile player today. He's having a good game so far early on. 26-18 Martin's lead right now. Lavoy Leggett Sr. with the ball. He tries to drive through again. And once more, Lavoy Leggett Sr. is fouled. He will be going to the line once again. Lavoy Le Leggett Sr. definitely a veteran in the ABA. Like I said, he is in his third season with the OGs. He's been there since day one. And so far, he's proving to be one of their key contributors today. Leggett's first shot. Bounces in and out. No luck there for him. Leggett will hope to secure a point on this second shot. It's up and it is in. So that'll be 26-19. Martin's in the lead. Dominique Threat with the ball. 
crosses half court, looking to set something up. Threat finds his teammate in the corner, back to Threat. Puts up the shot. That one's good. Dominique Threat, way to be. He is on an absolute tear right now as he makes it a 10 point lead. Dominique Threat, what is going on is right. He is on another level. Herkimer's ball. Shot is up. Shot is off. It seems like the, there was a foul there. Possibly on Dominique Threat. Number 34, Ryan Ross is going to be going to the line. It's his first year with the OGs. He is a, has played in the ABA before with the Elmira Eagles and the Rock City Ravens. Ryan Ross, the 6 7 forward. His second shot now. That one bounces in. Wasn't sure about that one there, but he got it. Martin's ball now. 29 to 20 here. Dominique Threat. Yep, thank you. Foul on the play there. It's going to be Martin's ball. Follow there on number 34, Ryan Ross. Martin's hoping, hoping to get a nice bucket here. Ball's passed out to DeMonte White. Passed over to Devon Johnson. Johnson finds Jawan Malone. Who is, ball is going to go to Herkimer. Seems like not the call that the Martins wanted there. Inbound pass by Matt Baldwin. And we are going to take a quick break for a timeout, but we'll be back very soon. Back four minutes remaining in this first quarter of ABA basketball. The Martins with a nine-point lead, 29-20 to 20, over the Herkimer OGs right now. Herkimer with the ball. Ball's passed over to Ralph Williams, the team captain. Gets it down to Gregory. His shot off. Martins rebound by DeMonte White. Ball is tipped out, but it's still going to go in the Martins' direction. White will inbound the ball. Martin's moving it forward. Quick, nice dribble there by Devon Johnson. He's able to get it to White. Looking for a pass. Able to get back to Devon Johnson. His shot, bang! A beautiful shot from the corner there. Devon Johnson, nice work. Williams with the ball now for the Herkimer Originals. Martin shooting well from deep so far. Shot is up, shot is good there for Trent Adamson. 31-22 the score now. Martin's trying to drive through. It's going to go in the direction of the Herkimer Originals there. Some subs hopping in and out, but Herkimer will have the ball here. That's number zero, Javon Evans. The ball finds his teammate. Pump fake. Trying to get something going here on offense. Williams finds Adamson. Ball is handed right to the Martins. 
attempting a fast break there. John Riles. Way to be there for Riles. He knows what he's doing. He is a pro in this league. Williams with the ball for Herkimer. Finds Adamson. Down in the paint. Back out to Williams. Wide open. Dominique Threat came in and stopped that, though. He dribbles forward. Shot is off. Williams with the ball again, trying to find something here. And that one's good. Beautiful shot there for Herkimer. They needed a play like that with how well the Martins had been playing. Devon Johnson with the ball now. Hands it to his teammate, John Riles. Trying to work around, find a shot. Riles puts it up. Riles' shot bounces off. Herkimer rebound. Gets the ball to Williams quickly. Over in the corner, Herkimer. Down, finds Adamson in the paint. Out to Nick Craig. Hands it back to Williams. Williams shot is good again. Ralph Williams, proving why he's the team captain. A three-time ABA All-Star. Last year averaged 19 points per game with eight assists. So a true facilitator and scorer there on the court. He's showing that right now with a beautiful steal there. Ralph Williams. How about that? Hoping to get a foul call there with Dominique Threat guarding him. Nice pick by Adamson. Finds his teammate in the corner. Back out to Adamson. Adamson's shot is off, but he'll get his own board. No, ball is tipped out. It'll stay with Herkimer. It's going to be Javon Evans on the inbound pass. He is also a semi-pro football player, so a two-sport athlete, Evans, the 5'9 guard. Some subs hopping in and out for Herkimer here. Herkimer only down six now. Looking to continue to shrink that lead as Adamson's shot is off. It's going to be Martin's ball. Gets the ball over to Malone. Malone trying to push his way through. Finds Heath Mason on the pass. Heath Mason's nice little floater is good. 36-28 now with under a minute left. Javon Evans with the ball. Tries to fight his way through, finds something, passes it out to Gregory. Gets it in the corner to leg it back to Gregory. Over to Williams, Ralph Williams. Oh, a behind the back pass, what is he doing? Gregory with the ball, trying to find something. Williams, bang! A beautiful shot there by Ralph Williams. He cannot be stopped right now, 36-31. Martin's ball now. Gets it over to John Riles. Who is fouled there? That is Nick Craig, number 13. It's going to remain Martin's ball on the sideline with 7.8 seconds left. Tobias Holmes will be on the inbound pass. Holmes last weekend against the 5-1-8 ballers had a heck of a game, really led his team. Tonight it's been a mix. Jawan Malone, John Riles, Dominique Threat have all put up good performances. Holmes gets the pass off. Martins, six seconds now. Jawan Malone trying to set something. His shot is up. His shot is off. Rebound will go to Herkimer, but that is it for the first quarter. 36-32. It is a Martins lead at the moment, and we will see you in a bit. back to ABA basketball on SFBN. We're about to start the second quarter here, 12 minutes before halftime with the Martins leading 36-31. Jawan Malone passes the ball into Ralph Williams, who's really been the guy for them tonight. 
He finds his teammate in the corner. Shot is up. Shot is good. Ralph Williams making it seem like it was no doubt he should be the team captain as he's facilitating and shooting like an absolute pro right now. Martin's shaky pass there. Trying to fight his way through. Tobias Holmes. Shot is up. Shot is tipped. Herkimer ball. Williams gains control. Hands it to his teammate. Leggett Sr. Couldn't quite get it. Leggett saves himself. Finds Brent Williams. Brent Williams fouled on the play. He will go to the line. That's Brent Williams from the University of South Carolina. You heard that right. He is a former Gamecock and spent a little bit of time in the NBA G League before coming over to the ABA, where he has, in his career, been a two-time ABA champ. So Brent Williams, definitely a seasoned vet when it comes to pro ball. His first shot is off, however. 36-34 the score here. Herkimer located about 15 minutes out of the city of Utica, New York. Only 7,000 people in Herkimer as... Williams is able to drain his second shot, making it a one-point game. It's the closest Herkimer has come to the Martins quite some time. Now his third shot, you don't hear that in the NBA, is off. And Jawan Malone is able to rebound it for the Martins. Malone working up the court. Pick sent by Heath Mason. Holmes with the ball now. Holmes trying to find something. He steps out, and it'll go in Herkimer's direction now. Some words of wisdom from uh, owner Sean Pratt there. It's going to be Herkimer OG's ball. Williams with the slick pass to Williams. That is Adamson right there. He's able to get it back to Brent Williams, who tries to fight his way through. Shot is up. Shot is off. But it appears he may have been fouled on that play. Brent Williams now will go to the line talking about him only six foot the guard Brent Williams but he's played some solid ball there getting physical on both of the last two times he was fouled and getting himself to the line something the Herkimer desperately needed first shot is good and now we have a tie ball game some subs coming in Heath Mason exiting the game for the Martins and Herman Suazo the 24 year old forward entering Williams second shot that one's good. Williams give Herkimer their first lead in quite some time. Holmes with the ball. Trying to find a teammate. Almost loses control. Gets it to White. Back to Holmes. Who fights his way through. It's going to stay here with the Martins. Holmes will inbound it to DeMonte White. Trying to find a teammate. John Riles is there. Riles works his way around. Riles' shot is up. Riles' shot is off. Ball is tipped. Harkimer is able to get the rebound. But they lose control of it. It'll be Bennington Martin ball. Dribbling up with the ball. Tobias Holmes, the point guard. He puts up a shot. That one's off. Juwan Malone able to recover. Ball is passed out. I believe it's going to stay with the Martins here. Under the hoop, Martins looking to regain the lead. Some discussion there between the refs. A little bit of confusion, it seems. We're trying to figure this one out. It's going to be Martin's ball. Inbound pass. Thrown wide. Able to recover, though, are the Martins. Pass over to Riles. Gets in the paint. Ouch. Foul there. Ball's going to stay with the Martins here. Under the hoop. We go. We built for that. Inbound pass for the Martins. And a foul now. Ball has been staying here for quite some time now. 
trying to figure out what's going on. The Martins down a point now. They came out so hot. Then Herkimer caught up. A lot of that can be thanks to Ralph Williams and Brent Williams. Two Williams guards have been on fire, especially Ralph. First shot by Herman Suazo is off here. Suazo, the forward out of Bryant and Stratton. Had a good game last weekend against the 518 Ballers. His second shot is good. Tying the game up once again. Javon Evans will bring the ball up for Herkimer. Finds his teammate in the corner. Shot is up. Shot is off, but the rebound by Gregory. He's able to hook that one in. A nice look there by the forward Gregory, former SUNY Polytech athlete who won NAC Player of the Year and was an ABA East All-Star last year. Ball is loose. Lavoy Leggett Sr. passes to Evans. Passes to Gregory and a nice play there. A great sequence by Herkimer. They are looking really strong right now. The Martins need to do something to stop that. Evans getting low on defense trying to guard Jawan Malone who throws up that shot. It is off. Rebound Herkimer. The quick pass out. Lavoy Leggett Sr. with the ball. He drives through. Fouled on the play. Much to the displeasure of John Riles there. And he will be going to the line. Something I've said many times tonight. Lavoy Leggett Sr. has been aggressive in the paint. Able to get some fouls. Time is called here in at Notre Dame High School. We'll be right back. back here at Notre Dame High School where the Herkimer OGs are up 41-37 over the Bennington Martin. 9-16 to go here in the second quarter. And Lavoy Leggett Sr., the third-year veteran with the OGs at the line now. His shot is good. Lavoy Leggett Sr. has been one of those guys tonight who has really just not stopped. Been making an impact from the first minute. And now just a few minutes into the second quarter, he still is. One of the key factors in Herkimer being able to overtake and grab the lead against the Martins as Leggett hits another shot. That is good. Anthony Mitchell with the ball now for the Martins. Mitchell drives. Is fouled. Seems like that was before the shot, however. So it's going to be Bennington ball under the hoop. Scratch that. Mitchell will go to the line. Foul was on the shot. Anthony Mitchell, the 24-year-old from Russell Sage College, which is in New York, so not too far away from his alma mater here. The 24-year-old guard's first shot is good. Definitely something the Martins needed as they had been cold for a few minutes. Thirty-eight points for the Martins now. Little discussion between the refs and the players. Mitchell will grab the ball again. That iconic red, white, and blue ABA ball. His second shot is good. Nice possession there. Good help from Anthony Mitchell to get the Martins back in a groove. Let's see if they can continue that. Demonte White with the steal there. Trapped in the corner a little bit. Martin's able to fight through. Some argument there over that call. It's 
it's going to be foul shots here for Herman Suazo, number 15, the forward. 43-39 the score here. Suazo hopefully adding a few points to get the Martins in close range. His first shot, however, is off. Not what he wanted. Suazo on his second shot. That one bounces all around and it's off again. So Herkimer ball now. Passes it over to Williams. Finds his teammate in the corner on the flash. He passed. Nice shot there. What a play by Williams. Able to find Leggett Sr. in the corner. Those two playing like Kobe and Shaq right now. Absolutely dominating the Martins defense. Anthony Mitchell guarding Trey Hames. Shot is up. And off. A nice rebound there for the Herkimer OGs. That shot is off. Anthony Mitchell on the rebound, hoping to get the fast break going for the Martins. Drives through, shot is off. Ball is tipped out, and it'll be Herkimer ball. You can see Bradley Christian, number 32, with the glasses under the hoop. Definitely a unique player. We'll talk about him in a second. So Williams gets the ball, pump fakes, fights his way through, passes it out to Bradley Christian. His shot is off. Rebound Martins. Christian is... Played for Team USA in the Deaf Olympics and won gold. So congrats to him. An incredible accomplishment there for that man. Oh, and the ball just handed right to Tobias Holmes. Herman Suazo recovers. But it'll go back to OG's possession. Ralph Williams finds Brent Williams. His shot is good. A big three-pointer there for the Herkimer OGs. 49-41 the score here. Dribbling the ball up the court. That is Anthony Mitchell for the Martins. He fights his way through, trying to find a teammate, Herman Suazo. His shot is off. Rebound Herkimer. Martins trying to get in a groove here. It's Herkimer's offense is in unstoppable at the moment. Foul on the play against the Martins. And it'll be Herkimer OG's forward Trent Adamson going to the line. Adamson former St. Lawrence player. Time is called here at Notre Dame High School and we will be right back. back it is a 50 to 39 game here with the Herkimer OGs in the lead seven minutes left to play in this second quarter here Herkimer has really taken advantage ever since they took the lead over the Martins they have been very hot and now this man Trent Adamson who's definitely been a big factor for their overtaking and running away with the lead right now he's at the line hoping to add on to the Herkimer OGs total Adamson his shot Bounces off the front of the rim. Not quite what he was looking for. Keith Mason and Herman Suazo under the hoop right now for the Martins trying to get the board and get some sort of a play going to get them back in this game. Adamson's second shot rolls in and out. Martins ball now finds trouble immediately. Wow, a great pass there to Lavoy Leggett Sr. who slams it down. A great move there. Ball is able to cross midcourt. Some players down on the ground. It's going to be Bennington ball on the side here. Number nine, Deshaun Westbrook in the game. Herman Suazo passes it into Holmes. 
Mason's pick, hoping to give Holmes some room to move. Mason's, Mason's shot is blocked, but he's able to get a second one off, but that one's off too. So Herkimer will take the ball. Ralph Williams now passes it down. Not quite. Ball is knocked out, and that ball will stay here with the Herkimer OGs. Herkimer on an absolute roll right now. Craig passes it in. Some stoppage of play. Seems like there's some sort of argument going on or something, but we'll check if it's going to stay with Herkimer here. It will. Nick Craig will inbound a second time. Trying to find one of his teammates. Passes it under the hoop. Adamson gets it to his teammate. Oh my goodness. A great slam dunk there by Bradley Christian. As the Martins are just piling it on right now. 55, 39 now. The Martins need to get something going. Tobias Holmes could be that guy. Ball is knocked out there. Did not get the foul call he was hoping for. It's going to stay with the Martins under the hoop here. Holmes was a big factor in their both their wins over the 5-1-8 ballers, dropping over 20 points in both those games. Tonight hasn't been as much. Swazo's shot bounces off and out. Herkimer able to rebound. Williams, the behind-the-back pass out to Bradley Christian. Over in the corner, Craig. Craig's shot is good. The Herkimer OG's running away with this game now. The Martins need to put a stop to their scoring streak. Nick Craig there, a beautiful three-pointer. Driving in, trying passes out. Shot is up. Shot is off. And Herkimer is able to rebound. Gregory got the board and then was fouled. So it'll be Herkimer's possession under the hoop. Bradley Christian there. He'll inbound it. To find his teammate finds Craig. Craig gives it back to Christian. Christian passes it down to Williams. Williams setting up for a hopeful play here. Over to Gregory. Gregory down to Christian. Christian trying to fight through. Shot is up. Shot is off. Rebound Martins. Tobias Holmes with the ball now. Bringing it up the court. Trying to find a way to the basket. Holmes in the corner. Shot is good. Much needed basket there for the Martins. 58-41 the score right now. Nick Craig bringing the ball up for Herkimer. Gets it to Williams. Williams drives through. And his shot is good. Not before there was a foul on the play, however. So it'll be Ralph Williams going to the line. Williams has really been the best player in this game on both sides. Getting a lot of big shots, getting a lot of good passes going. Some of those behind-the-back passes, almost unbelievable to see from a guy like him. But that's why he's the team captain. Three-time ABA All-Star. He knows what he's doing here as he throws that one up off. Heath Mason on the rebound, passes it right to Tobias Holmes. They need to get working quickly if they want to enter halftime with a closer score. Shot from the corner, off by the Martins. Quick pass to Williams, he's able to recover. Doesn't seem like he is. It's going to be a Bennington ball. Inbound pass handed right to Tobias Holmes. Tobias Holmes, the point guard, needing a little bit more out of him. Try to set up some plays. That's what he did so well against the 5-1-8 ballers. Not as much tonight. That ball is going to be going to Herkimer now. Just seems like the Martins are getting lazy on a few of these plays. And Herkimer's been running away with that. That's why they've been able to take such a big lead. At times they were down by 10, now up by 17. Herkimer on an absolute roll. Bradley Christian will inbound the ball. Some subs coming in here. The boy Leggett Sr. passes to Williams. Ralph Williams gets it over to Gregory. Gregory looking for a pass or a shot. We'll see. Gregory dribbling around. In some trouble now. Gregory is able to recover, though. Nice pass over to Williams. 
Williams finds Gregory. Ball is loose. Martin's able to recover. Nice pass there. Jawan Malone. Jawan Malone, a nice bucket in the paint. Desperately needed for the Martins. But that's why he's their guy, and he has been tonight as well. Not as big a performance, but if they want to win this game, they need him to step it up. Able to find Lavoie Leggett Sr. there. His shot is off. Rebound by Lavoy. Second shot. Off again. Can that ball be tipped in? No, the Martins will rebound there. Quickly coming up the court. That shot's good. Two straight buckets there for the Martins. Much needed. Only a 13-point lead for Herkimer now. As we head to a timeout, we'll be right back. <laughs> back here 58 45 the score Herkimer in the lead but Martins have four straight points here much needed for them if they want to enter the half with some sort of a close game they need to make a few more stops here because the Herkimer offense has been absolutely electric tonight led by that man Ralph Williams who fights his way through shot rolls in and out rebound Heath Mason Martins ball now trying to find a play set it up shot is up shot is good much needed basket there for the Martins bringing the game to only an 11 point lead just about 20 points a few minutes ago so great that they're back in this game so quickly Williams is able to find his teammate number 25 Matt Baldwin and that ball is going to go to the Martins now Martins have a little bit of motivation going for them there. They need that man right there, number zero, Jawan Malone, to lead the way as he did yesterday. In a defeat, they still lost to the Pirates, but the Pirates, if you remember, were a ranked number six in the preseason ABA poll and made the final eight last year. So that's a very tough team. They put up a good fight, and that was led by Jawan Malone. John Riles, another guy that they need to step it up here. Dribbling through, shots up, shot bounces in and out. A few of those for Riles tonight. Not quite getting the luck he wants. No one seems too happy with that call. Ref's having a little discussion there. And it is going to be Herkimer OG's ball. And now it's going to be the man at the line, it seems. Josh Gregory, number 24. No, scratch that. Number 34, Ryan Ross. His first year with the OGs. First game with the OGs. As this is the OGs first game of the season. Ryan Ross, former... He's been around the ABA, though. He's played with the Elmira Eagles and the Rock City Ravens. His shot is good. Ryan Ross, number 34. The 6 7 forward. One of the big men here for the OGs. Getting a little practice shot in there as he hopes to hit his second one. Shot is up. And it's going to be Martin's ball now. Oh, never mind. Herkimer's able to steal the ball again. Ball's passed cross court. No, Martin's steal again. Back and forth right now. And play is stopped. Foul on the play. And seems like it's going to be, seems like it's going to be something. We're having a little bit of confusion here. It's going to be Martin's ball. John Riles passes it in. Jawan Malone now with the ball. Number zero. Malone finds DeMonte White, who tries to push his way through the big man. DeMonte White, shot is off. Second attempt is off again. DeMonte White gets the ball again. Knocks. 
a Herkimer OG to the floor. Not what they wanted to do with that play there. But on that play, John Riles was fouled. So he will be at the line here. And once again, time is called. Just a little bit over two minutes remaining. We'll be right back. back here just over two minutes to play 60 47 the score with the Herkimer OGs in their home opener and season opener currently holding a pretty solid lead over the Martins Herkimer's looked really solid on both ends of the floor just more cohesive despite the Martins having three games before this under their belt Herkimer's looking like the more complete team John Riles though a guy who could change this game as he is such a great player at the line he hits his first shot Bringing their total to 48. John Riles, once again. Riles' shot is good. John Riles, the veteran who's had multiple 20 point games this season early on. Riles, definitely one of the Martin's better players and a veteran too. He's been around for a few years. And his third shot's good. Three for three at the line for John Riles. Good play there for. The Martins, they needed that. Gregory with the ball finds Ralph Williams under the hoop. That is Ryan Ross who puts it up there. Herkimer looking like the Harlem Harlem Globetrotters out here a little bit with some of their flashy passes and amazing dunks. Really just having fun for this home crowd. Shot is up though and off. Martins able to cover not quite because it'll be Herkimer ball on the side. Inbound pass by Javon Evans. And they'll do it again. Some some disputes, some little bit of confusion or talks over there. Let's figure out what's going on here. Not really sure what's going on. Seems like it'll stay with Herkimer, though. All right, Herkimer, once again, will inbound the ball. It's going to be Williams there with the pass. Able to find his teammate there. That's Baldwin. Williams again in the corner. Passes it out. A little bit of a crazy pass there. Over to Ryan Ross, who hits that shot. Big play there by Ryan Ross. He scored the last two buckets for them. John Riles with the ball now. Fighting his way through. Trying to drive through. But the ball is going to go in the Herkimer's direction. John Riles is in disbelief there. He is not getting the calls he hopes for. 64-50 to 50 with just over a minute left here at Notre Dame High School. Ball's passed into Baldwin and right back to Williams. Williams has been in control for a lot of this game. Manning the point guard and manning it well. Williams passes to Gregory. Gregory gets it to Baldwin. Baldwin tries to fight through. Ball is loose, but Williams recovers. Williams now. Shot is up. That one's off. Oh, an attempted rebound there by Tobias Holmes. Not quite, but it will be Martin's ball. Jawan Malone, number zero, bringing the ball up. Usually Holmes brings up the ball, but Malone here, giving them a bit of a change. Passes it down to Riles. Riles in the paint. His shot is off. Not a good look there by Riles. Ralph Williams with the ball now. 
Williams drives his way through, finds Baldwin in the corner. Shot is off. Baldwin recovers. Gets it back to Williams. Back to Bald. Oh, not to Baldwin. Herkimer ball here. 17 seconds remaining. Need to get a last play in if they want. But an easy steal there by the Martins. Holmes, what was going on there? Not what he wanted to do. Just a few seconds remaining here in the second quarter. 64-50. Definitely been a much better half for Herkimer. Shot is up by Holmes. That one's off. Herkimer ball. Half court chuck. No good. But a great second quarter there for the Originals as they now hold a 14 point lead over the Martins. It is halftime. We will be back on SFBN. <laughs>
and welcome back to ABA Basketball on SFBN. We're about to start the second half where the Herkimer OGs or Originals are up 64-50 to on the Bennington Martins. Coming out of half, it's looking like the Martins are going to need to switch something up, stop the explosive offense that the Herkimer OGs have been playing with all game. And Coach Harry Roll in his first season with the Martins needs to give his team some wisdom about how they can improve in the second half. Tobias Holmes will inbound the ball for the Martins to Juwan Malone. Malone dribbling around. Martins ball. Trying to find something here. Malone still with the ball. Over to Riles. Riles shot is off. It looks like it is going to be Herkimer ball. Herkimer brings the ball up. In the corner, Lavoy Leggett Sr. Shot is off. Tobias Holmes with the rebound. Finds his teammate, Jawan Malone. Malone dribbling, trying to find a way through. Malone's shot is off. Rebound, Ryle. Passes it down. Ball is out. It's going to stay with the Martins under the hoop. Riles will inbound. Riles is able to find Herman Suazo. Riles recovers. Suazo out to Holmes. Holmes' shot is off. Rebound by Bradley Christian. Gives it to Ralph Williams. Ralph was the key factor for the Herkimer taking such a good lead in the first half. Beautiful three-pointer by Bradley Christian there. Oh my goodness. The Team USA gold medalist, Bradley Christian. Put some respect on his name. Number 32. Impressive shot by him there. Juwan Malone finds Riles. Riles' shot is off. Rebound, Herkimer. Finds Lavoie Leggett Sr. Tries to fight his way through. Shot is off. No foul on the play. Riles bring the balls up. That shot is good. A nice layup there for the Martins. 67-52 the score. Slowly bringing the ball up is Ralph Williams. Williams in the first half was an absolute monster. Bradley Christian shot is off. Lavoy Leggett Sr. tries to fight through. Foul on the play. Like I was saying, Williams was an absolute beast in the first half. Dropping threes, dropping twos, making amazing passes, and really just leading that offense, which was needed. They've looked like a lot more complete and cohesive unit than the Martins offense have, who have struggled at times tonight. What the Martins really need to do, it seems, is just find some plays, find some guys, play a little small ball, and then get back to the explosive play that they've been able to do in their past three games. Play stopped here. A little bit of discussion happening. Lavoy Leggett Sr. at the line, something he did many times in the first half. Really just an aggressive big man, the 6'6 forward. He's been with the OGs for three seasons now. He knows what's going on. He knows how to fight his way through, draw the foul, give his team the edge, which he's done quite a bit so far. Play is still stopped here. Figuring out what's going on. And it looks like we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be right back. And we are back here at Notre Dame High School in New York. It is going to be Herkimer Ball. I believe Lavoie Leggett Sr. is at the line. But we will figure that out in a minute. Some scoreboard issues there. Leggett Sr., the 6'6 forward. Made it to the line quite a few times in this first half. Going to look to continue that to help the OGs keep their offensive explosiveness up. That shot bounces in and out. Not quite for Lavoy Leggett Sr. And once again, we're going to take a quick break for a timeout. Promise we're not avoiding you. We'll see you in a minute.
Welcome back. LaVoy Leggett Sr. still at the line here for the Herkimer OG 67-52. A little bit more than 10 minutes to play here in the third quarter, 10-44. LaVoy Leggett Sr. drains his second one. He'll hop right back on defense as they'll try to stop the Martins. Jawan Malone with the ball right now. DeMonte White sets up the pick. Malone fires through. Ball is off. It's going to be grabbed by Brent Williams who finds Gregory. Ball's brought back out to Williams who tries to drive through. Williams fouled on that play. He will go to the line. Hopefully he's okay. A little slow getting up there. Someone should check on Brent and Williams. Seems like he's alright though. He's up and walking. Brent and Williams, the former South Carolina Gamecock, spent some time in the NBA G League. Not something that a lot of these ABA players can say. So he definitely had the most experience in the pros on anyone from between anyone on either of these teams. Excuse me. And he's also a two-time ABA champ, so he knows he knows his way around the ABA. Keith Mason sliding in under the hoop here for the Martins, number 44, one of their big men. Williams' second shot is good once again, making it 70-52 now. An 18-point lead and an 18-point deficit for the Martins, not something they wanted to be dealing with right now. Jawan Malone, that's the guy who has to get it started. Big player for them yesterday. Riles' shot is good. Another guy that can really lead this team is John Riles. He's had some shaky moments in the first half. Long pass. Shot by Gregory. Drains it. A beautiful shot by Josh Gregory there. Something you don't often see from a big man, but he's one who can shoot. Malone in some traffic. John Riles able to find Heath Mason, who scoops the pass back up. That shot is good. It's going to be Herkimer ball here. Driving through is Lavoy Leggett Sr. Shot bounces off. Not quite. Martin's ball. Long pass. Intercepted by Josh Gregory. And then he goes right away, puts up the shot. That's off. Rebound Martins. Martins ball. Trying to get a little bit of consistency here. Herman Suazo, his shot's off. Riles rebounds, his shot's off. Out to the corner, Tobias Holmes, his shot is also off. Can they hit one? Doesn't seem like it. And it's going to be Herkimer ball there. Not what the Martins want to do. Not what Harry Roll wants to see out of his players. That's just not great basketball there. Williams finds Gregory on the side. Gregory's able to drive in, but a beautiful block by Heath Mason. Oh my goodness. Recovered by Malone. He drives in. That shot is good. Jawan Malone, the SUNY Coble skill grad, brings that one in. 73-58. Herkimer ball. Williams dribbling, trying to set something up here. Williams tries to fight his way through. A nice dunk there, but I believe that will not count. There's a foul on the play prior to it. Bradley Christian trying to get some uh, some showy plays off. It's going to be Herkimer OG's ball on the side with Brenton Williams on the inbound pass. A few subs hopping in real quickly. Like I said earlier, Herkimer wearing pink for their stomp out cancer game. A good cause, obviously, for them. Happy to see them supporting their community tonight. And it's going to be Martin's ball. You see Brent Williams there back on defense. Both Williams back on defense trying to get the red light on so that they can get the extra point. Dominique Threat's shot is off. Rebound Herkimer. Pass out to Lavoy Leggett Sr. He will try to do it himself. That is a foul. That is an offensive foul there. And it's going to be Martin's ball. Lavoy Leggett Sr. has been playing aggressive all night. A little too aggressive there. Dominique Threat hands it back to the point guard, Tobias Holmes, number three. Holmes dribbles around, tries to work it through. Shot is up, shot is good. The off-balance shot by Tobias Holmes. Way to be for him. Something he needed. He's been having a slow night. Obviously one of the better players for the Martins, but hasn't showed it tonight. Ralph Williams with the ball. Passes it down to Bradley Christian. Christian, ball is swatted away. Martins get control. Trying to drive through. That's Holmes. Holmes once again with the shot. 73-62. And just like that, 
Only 11 down. They were down 18 not too long ago. They're working right now. And as we head to timeout, it is 73-62. Herkimer leads. We'll be right back. back here at Notre Dame High School with the Herkimer OGs leading the Bennington Martins 73-62, 7.34 left to play in the third quarter. It is Herkimer OGs ball right now. Martins on a bit of a hot streak thanks to Tobias Holmes who has had two really nice buckets, one off balance, one on balance, but both of them very nice and much needed for the Martins as they've cut that lead down. It's going to be Martins ball again. Quick pass over to Riles. Riles' shot is good, and Herkimer recovers. Brenton Williams with the ball, number two. Ball gets down into the paint, trying to find a teammate, and passes it right to the other team. The Martins have the ball now. Quick drive through, shot is off, rebound, put back up. A nice bucket there. John Riles on fire now, too, bringing the lead just to seven. The Martins are unstoppable at the moment. Herkimer's defense needs to step up. Shot is off. Martins ball once again. They could really cut this lead down some more if they are smart here. Dominique Threat, number four with the ball. The rookie. Threat, trying to find something to set it up. He takes the shot himself. Shot is off. Heath Mason with a nice rebound there out to the corner. That shot is good. A beautiful three-pointer there for the Martins, cutting that lead down to four. An absolute tear of a run for the Martins, and they are right back in this game. That's some amazing basketball there. Martins now only down four. It seemed like the loss of Terrell Camp to injury had been hurting them. That play obviously shows different. They've relied a lot more on Herman Suazo and DeMonte White in the paint. Camp's usually that guy for them. Riles at the line. His shot is good. 73-70 to 70 with six and a half minutes left. Herkimer looks like they're struggling now a little bit, and Martins are on an absolute fire tear. Lavoie Leggett Sr., though, a guy that could stop that. His shot is off, however. Dominique Threat gets the board. Finds Riles. Martins working. Trying to t get it to a tie game. Riles' shot is up. Riles' shot is good, and we have a tie game here with six minutes left. 73-73. Oh, my goodness. They've worked it all the way back to a tie game from down 18 in this quarter. Shot is blocked. Oh, my goodness. The Martins are unstoppable. This is how they played against the 5-1-8 ballers. This is how they had to play tonight. Tobias Holmes. His shot is off. Heath Mason aggressive, though. They're able to recover. Ball goes to Herkimer, however. Williams with the ball, bringing it up. Williams finds Javon Evans. He is wide open on that shot, but it is way off. And Tobias Holmes is able to rebound, finds Threat. Threat working the ball up the court. Finds his teammate. And a foul on the play there. It's going to be Herman Suazo at the line for the Bennington Martins now. Suazo, number 15, the forward from Brian and Stratton. Been to the line multiple times tonight. Suazo was a big player in their both their wins over the 5-1-8 ballers. Helping them out here tonight. First shot is good. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a Bennington Martins lead for the first time since the first quarter. They have really worked their way back into this game. It's been a lot of John Riles. It's been the reemergence of Tobias Holmes. Then a little bit of Dominique Threat, a little bit of Jawan Malone. Everyone's starting to contribute, including Herman Suazo. Suazo's shot is off. Rebound by Lavoie Leggett Sr. 
Brenton Williams with the ball. Finds Willie, the other Williams. Other side of the court. Recovery. Lavoy Leggett Sr. Over to Williams. Williams trying to find something. Williams working. Shot is up. Shot is off. One and done. One and done. Rebound there. Sean Pratt sounds pretty happy about that one. It's going to be Herkimer ball, however. Martin's still with the lead, though. 74 73. Few substitutes coming in. Bradley Christian, one of those who's going to inbound the pass here. Herkimer going to work a little slowly here, trying to find something, get back in a rhythm, because they had a great rhythm going for most of the second and even the start of this third quarter. They need to find that again if they want to win this game. Trent with the ball. Shot is up, shot is good. Very strong player in the paint. That is Trent Adamson. Martin's ball now. Riles works his way through. Not quite. Recovery, though. Shot is off. Herkimer ball. They'll move up the court quickly. Shot is off. Adamson. Oh, my goodness. A foul there. Knocked that ball 100 miles per hour out of bounds. It's going to stay with Herkimer OGs under the hoop. 75-74 the score right now with the OGs in the lead, but just by one. Four minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. And Trent Adamson's at the line. The St. Lawrence grad, one of their only 1,000-point scorers. Guy who's been definitely a big part of Herkimer's game tonight. Strong guy on offense, a strong guy on defense. Not a strong shot at the line, however. Hopefully he can do better on his second one. Adamson, his second shot. Shut up. That one's good. It's going to be Martin's ball now. Dominique Threat faces immediate pressure. He works across half court. Javon Evans on him. Foul called on Javon Evans. Much to the pleasure of Sean Pratt. It's going to be Martin's ball on the side here. Anthony Mitchell will inbound the ball for the Bennington Martins. Number two there. Mitchell now passes it in. Able to find DeMonte White, their big man. 6'10", DeMonte White. Anthony Mitchell finds Juwan Malone. Over to DeMonte. Powers through. Shot is up. Shot is good. The big man making a big play there. Tying the game back up at 76 apiece. Herkimer with the ball now. Williams fighting through. Finds Bradley Christian. Oh, a nice move. Oh, beautiful pass to Gregory in the corner. Shot is off. However, Heath Mason with the rebound there. Gregory putting the defense on right away. Juwan Malone with the ball. Malone's shot. Bounces off. Herkimer is able to rebound it. Bringing it back up quickly. And a foul on the play there. Bennington seems pretty pleased. Is going to be. Looking like we uh, might have a timeout here. So we're going to take a quick break before we resume play. And we'll be right back. Back here, ABA basketball on SFBN. 325 left to play in the third quarter. And the Herkimer OGs up just two now. 78-76. Some movement in the lead after it was Herkimer OGs for most of the game. Herkimer. 
Herkimer at the line. Brent Williams, one shot left. That shot bounces off. Not quite what he wanted there. Herman Suazo gets the board. Passes it out. Ryle with the ball. Ryle's shot is up. Shot is off. DeMonte White able to get the ball back out, but no, not before Herkimer can retrieve it. Herkimer, shot, not quite. And it's going to be a loose ball there. Number eight, Devon Johnson. You can see there the 5'8 guard out of Johnson State in Vermont. Herkimer ball now. Williams. Ralph Williams with the ball. Nice pick there set by Adamson. Williams trying to find his way through. Wow. Able to find the other Williams on a nice shot there. Brenton Williams. Now Devon Johnson with the ball. Bringing it up. Looking to get something started. His shot is off. Not quite what he wanted there. Rebound Herkimer. 80-76 now. Gregory with the ball. Guarded pretty heavily. Finds Adamson in the paint. Adamson's shot is off, outmatched. That ball's going to stay here with Herkimer. Herkimer up 80-76 now. This is Steve Babiar's first game of the season. He is the head coach. Like I mentioned earlier, a SUNY Potsdam legend helped lead the team to an undefeated season and a national championship playing at his alma mater high school, Notre Dame High School today. Able to find Ralph Williams with the ball now. Adamson. Williams. Javon. Javon Evans now has the ball. Evans trying to set something up. Adamson with the pick. Evans wide open there. A very nice move by Herkimer. Great offensive play there. Evans with the nice bucket. Johnson. DeMonte White. Johnson again. Suazo back to Johnson. Playing a little hot potato here. Johnson guarded by Williams. Ball is loose. It's going to stay here with the Bennington Martins. Apparently hit off the foot. Herkimer is not too happy about that one. A six point lead though for Herkimer right now. Martins need another hot streak to tie this game back up. That's what they did before. They were down 18, brought it back, took the lead. Herkimer now with the lead again. 83-76. The minute 42 left in this third quarter. Subs coming in and out. It'll be Martins under the hoop. Bennington 2-1 on the year. Hoping to make it 3-1. Herkimer has proved to be a tough opponent. Both these teams have a lot of vets. DeMonte White included in what, as one of them. And now it's going to be Herkimer ball. Javon Evans will inbound it. Moving quickly here. Long pass. And a bucket there. A two-pointer for the Herkimer OGs. Tobias Holmes with the ball. Now his shot. That one's off. Rebound Martins, though, and they score. Making it a seven-point game. 85-78. Defensive chance. Javon Evans able to find Gregory. Gregory's shot is off. Oh, high bounce there. And it's going to be Martin's ball into the hoop. Martin's inbound. Tobias Holmes working his way up the court. Holmes gets it to DeMonte White. Finds Herman Suazo. Suazo wide open. Suazo drains it. A beautiful three-pointer there. Under a minute to go. Only a four-point lead now for Herkimer. It's Javon Evans bringing up the ball. Looking for something now. Thought he had a shot there. Not quite. Adamson to Gregory to Williams. Back to Adamson. Wide open as he slams it down. Beautiful play by Adamson there. Just over half a minute left. 87-81. Tobias Holmes works his way through. Shot is up. Shot is good. 87-83. Herkimer moving quickly though. Wide open, Javon Evans doesn't take a shot though. Passes it back to Williams. Williams looking for something. 12 seconds remaining. 
defensive chance from the opposing team's crowd. Seven seconds, trying to get one final play in. Fouled on the play. Williams will go to the line. We have 2.7 seconds remaining. That is 87-83. Williams will go to the line. Williams has been the top guy tonight. A little bit quieter in this third quarter here. His first half was absolutely dominant. If they want to run away with the win, like they looked like they were going to do earlier in the game, they need him to step it up in the fourth quarter. First shot is good. 88-83 now. Williams, the team captain. Even though it's only his first season with the OGs, his experience made him the clear choice there. As he drains two, looking for his third shot now. Once again, not something you'll ever hear in the NBA. Ralph Williams now. Only 5'8". A big man tonight as he goes 3-4-3. Three, giving them a seven-point lead after the half. And that's exactly what it's going to be. 90-83, to 83, entering the fourth quarter. Excuse me, sorry. Herkimer OG's lead, the Bennington Martins. We'll see you in just a minute. everyone 90 to 83 the score right now with the Herkimer OGs leading the Bennington Martin 12 more minutes to play this game has been a back and forth one with with each team having their own respective great runs multiple times throughout the game pretty close entering the fourth quarter Herkimer has a seven point lead but they had an 18 point lead last quarter and lost that so we'll see if the Martins led by Tobias Holmes Riles DeMonte White Herman Suazo see if they can step it up Take the lead. Ralph Williams, though, has been the guy all night for the OGs. Shot is off. It's going to be Martin's ball. Quickly moving up the court. Fast break. Layup is off. Knocked out. Second attempt is off. Someone's got to grab the board. And that one goes in. So there we go. Good start for the Martins there. 90-85. Ralph Williams with the ball now. The captain. Williams trying to move around. Bradley Christian trying to help him out with the pick. In trouble. Williams works through. Finds his teammate, who drives through, pass down. Lavoie Leggett Sr. Shot is knocked out, but he is fouled on that. Once again, the aggressive play of Lavoie Leggett Sr. brings him to the line. Plays he's called the second home tonight. Definitely been one of the better players for the Herkimer OG. He's been in the game most of the time, and they've needed that from him. A strong presence under the hoop is what he's been. First shot is off. Like it's senior, the veteran. First game of the season, though, and the Herkimers looked pretty solid. That one's off, too. Not what he wanted there. DeMonte White with the board. Martin's ball moving quickly up the court, driving through, pass out. Jawan Malone off the backboard. Second attempt swatted away by Gregory. It's going to stay here with the Martins. It'll be uh, Juwan Malone on the inbound pass. Gets it to DeMonte White, the big man. Malone, shot is off. Rebound, Herkimer. Herkimer advancing up the court. Josh Gregory with the ball. Gregory hands it off to Williams. Williams passes it up. Off, able to recover. Williams trying to work something through. Telling Bradley Christian to get a move. Williams. And play is stopped. Let's 
seems like it's going to stay with the Herkimer OG. Some discussion between Coach Babiars and the referees will be Herkimer ball. Number 24, Josh Gregory will inbound. Former NAC Player of the Year at SUNY Polytech. That's Brenton Williams to Gregory. Gregory's shot is off. Trying to got, tried to get one in before shot clock went off. Quick pass down, Herman Suazo, not able to hit it. It's going to be Herkimer Ball under the hoop, the OGs. Not what they wanted there, immediately stopped. It's going to be OGs again. Subs coming in. Lavoy Leggett Sr. will inbound to Ralph Williams. Dominique Threat, the defensive threat right there. Quickly moving in. Williams' shot is off. Rebound Martins quickly moving down the hoop, driving in. Shot is good. A big play there by the Martins. 90-87 now. Not going to be an easy one, as Sean Pratt says. He's right. It's a close game. Three minutes or... Three-point lead, only 10 minutes to go. Bradley Christian now passes it down. Lavoy Leggett Sr. loses it. Demonte West recovers it. Moving up the court, swatted away by Bradley Christian. Very happy about that one. It'll be Martin's ball on the side. Anthony Mitchell will inbound it. Mitchell, the guard from Sage College. Mitchell passes down to Demonte West. The big man, DeMonte, fights through, trying to get a shot off. Not quite. Gregory's able to stop him. Gregory moves quickly up the court, finds Brenton Williams. Brenton Williams, back out to Evans. Bradley Christian, Bradley Christian, work, Bradley Christian working. Ralph Williams, over to Gregory. Gregory, wide open shot, is good. Josh Gregory, 93-87. The big man has been hitting those all night. Six-point lead now for Herkimer. Martin's trying to slim that down. Dominique Threat pulls up. Shot is off. Able to get the second one up. Nice second attempt there by DeMonte White. 93-89 now. Herkimer moving a little slowly here, trying to set something up, get a big play. And no luck there. Going to be Bennington Martins ball. Dominique Threat will pass that one in. Threat, the ABA rookie, has not looked like a rookie. Very solid on defense and has hit some big shots tonight. Keith Mason with the ball. Back to Threat. Threat trying to set something up. Threat takes it himself. Bang! Dominique Threat. What a shot there. The rookie doing it all on both sides of the court. Just being the threat they need. Ralph Williams over to Josh Gregory. Gregory trying to work his way through. Guarded pretty heavily by Mason. Shot is off. Rebound Martins. Nice defense by Mason there. Only 21 years old. Heath Mason looks like a vet himself. Jawan Malone. Malone's shot is up. Malone's shot is good. The Martins retake the lead. 94-93, Jawan Malone hitting the big shot when it counts. Martin's fans chanting defense. Could definitely use a stop here to help them get a little bit ahead. Bradley Christian able to throw that one up. Rolls out. Martin's ball. Quickly moving up the court. Jawan Malone, he'll take another one. Malone! On fire. En fuego, Jawan Malone. As the Martins are on a hot streak right now, Herkimer needs to get something going to shut them down. Ralph Williams with the ball. Williams trying to work around the Bradley Christian pick in the corner. Back to Christian. Over to Evans. Evans trying to work his way through. Evans, not quite. It'll be Martin's ball. Martin's working quickly. Pass down. Shot is good. A big play there. Keith Mason under the hoop. And it looks like we are heading to a timeout. We will be back 
very soon for some more ABA basketball. back martins have the lead it has been an explosive start to the fourth quarter for them with dominique threat and Jawan malone leading the way 100 to 93 the score with 7 14 left on the clock in the fourth quarter it's been the tale of hot streaks tonight i each team going blow for blow able to keep it a close game most of the night leads have been swapped multiple times herkimer is trying to stop that lavoy legged senior his shot is no good Martins are able to rebound. No foul on that. Quickly moving up the court. Juwan Malone pass down to Anthony Mitchell. Beautiful swoop around layup. 102-93 now. The Martins are looking unstoppable at the moment. Herkimer's trying to stop them though. Ralph Williams calling for the ball. The captain. Williams. Ball is loose. Able to recover. A foul there going to be Herkimer ball on the side that's going to be Javon Evans inbounding the ball here to Ralph Williams Herkimer ball here we are back at play Ralph Williams number four trying to move around pick a set able to work around Heath Mason needs to find a pass though Adamson. Adamson with the ball now trying to work through. Fouled on that. He will, he will go to the line. Number 15, Trey Adamson. He's been to the line multiple times tonight. He and Lavoy Leggett Sr. know what they're doing. They're the big men. They know how to draw fouls. They play aggressive. Some of his layups have been very impressive. 101-93. First shot is good. Nice shot there. Much needed. Stopping of the Martins scoring streak there. 101 94. Seven point lead for the Martins. Just over six minutes left. Adamson. His second shot. That one's good too. Much needed two points there from Trey Adamson. Jawan Malone bringing the ball up. Jawan Malone working. Drives in. It's going to be Herkimer ball. Ralph Williams trying to find someone. Passes it over. Pick set by Adamson. Evans to Gregory. Gregory tries to drive through. Back out to Evans. Javon Evans. Shot goes in. A nice much needed three there. 98-101. Herkimer fighting back. Back and forth. Back and forth all night like a ping pong game. Herman Suazo. Suazo shot. That one's off. Rebound. Martins are able to recover. Riles. Number 21, Riles. Riles. Back to Riles. Gets it down to Suazo. And the ball will stay here. Much to the displeasure of the Herkimer OGs. Suazo was fouled on that one. Martin's ball. It'll be an inbound pass from Riles. Craig having a quick discussion with the ref. He'll try to stop this pass. Riles needs to find somebody. Can't quite do it. Herkimer with the ball now. Moving quickly. Adamson throws that one down and we have a one point game. Beautiful play by Trey Adamson there. He is on fire when it counts. Holmes with the ball. Foul called on Ralph Williams. Not what he wanted to hear there. Eight 
And it'll be Herkimer's ball. My mistake. Ralph Williams with the ball. Chucks it down. Trying to find something here. Herkimer needs it to regain the lead. Not quite. It'll be Martin's ball. Stolen by Herkimer once again. Shot is up. That one's off. Rebound Martins. Keith Mason needs to find somebody and a foul is called. A one point game with four and a half remaining. You can't ask for a better game than this. Back and forth all night. Big leads held by both teams at points. But it seems like it might be close down to the wire. Martin's ball here. Pass goes to Tobias Holmes. Williams defending. Trying to get that red light on. Holmes looking for something. Holmes tries to work his own way through. Not quite. Rebound. Herkimer. Adamson. To Gregory. To Williams. Back to Gregory. That shot's off. Rebound. Seems like it's the Martins. Martins have the ball now. Riles with the ball. Working his way up. Trying to find something. Riles almost loses control. Takes it himself. That one's off. No luck there for Riles. Herkimer, wide open Javon Evans. Not quite. Rebound Herman Suazo. Evans on the ground now. A little commotion here. And we will go to a timeout. We will return 101 to 100 after this. back a one point game this is how legends are made 101 100 Herkimer OGs facing some tough competition in their season opener Bennington Martins facing some tough competition in their fourth game of the season both teams are looking pretty strong a little bit of commotion there a little bit of miscommunication but if you're going to win this game you need someone to step up and lead the way and that's what Tobias Holmes is going to try to do for the Martins that's what Ralph Williams is going to try to do for the OGs. Both those guys have been great facilitators all night. They're going to need to continue it here at the finish. Holmes passes it over to Malone. Malone losing control a little bit there. Suazo with the ball now. Hands it back to Holmes. And it's going to be Herkimer ball. As there is an OG on the ground. Uh-oh. Seems like Ralph Williams is in a little bit of pain. Adamson and Craig help him up. It's going to be a Herkimer ball here. The OGs looking to add a few more points on here. Most of the game it was their, it was their lead. But in that fourth quarter, the Martins have been able to come back. And now we have a one-point game here. Martins are able to steal that one. Playing with a lot of confidence right now in the corner. That one's not quite there. Oh, stolen again, Tobias Holmes. And it's going to be Herkimer. Number 13, Nick Craig with the ball here. Trying to find something. Gregory. Gregory. His shot's good. 104-102 here. Holmes with the ball. Holmes trying to find his way. Navigates through some traffic. Demonte White. Over to Jawan Malone. Malone. Shot blocked. Malone recovers. Malone trying. And he is fouled. 
Juwan Malone will go to the line. A big game for him yesterday. He's been a top player for them tonight. They could really use him to hit these shots for some insurance here. Juwan Malone. His first shot. That's good. Much needed bucket there for Malone. 105-102 now. 25-year-old guard from SUNY Kovalskill. Malone, his second shot. Bang! Back to back. Two beauties. 106 102. And now Ralph Williams with the ball. Williams working his way up the court. Trying to find something over to Gregory. Gregory been known to hit the longer shot today. Gregory again. Pump fake. Nick Craig pass down to Adamson. Adamson in the paint. Can't get it off. Rebound. Martin's ball. 106-102. Another shot here could give them some very much needed insurance. And some clapping from the Herkimer bench. One oh six, one oh two here, just over two minutes to play. Martin's ball under the hoop. Demonte White, the big man, gets it over to Holmes. Holmes trying to work his way through, loses control. Nick Craig with the ball. Craig working his way up the court. Martin's ball again. We're playing going back and forth here. And play is stopped. 106, 102. Nick Craig. Throwing the ball against the wall there. Not too pleased. A real close game here. Especially for Herkimer. An impressive one as they're taking a team that has shown they are a very, very solid team. The Martins have played a lot better this year than they did last year. Starting last year 4-10. and They are now 2-1. and With a win here today, they would be 3-1. and Their only loss coming to one of the best teams in the ABA. Herkimer, another team full of veterans... Their first game of the season, they've looked pretty strong. They've looked like a unit that knows what they're doing. They've looked pretty connected. If they want to get a nice win here, they need that guy, Ralph Williams, to lead them to victory. DeMonte White with the ball. Back to Holmes. Holmes works his way through. Holmes' shot is good. 108-102. Insurance bucket there for Tobias Holmes. Herkimer ball. Gregory gets it. His shot is up. It's good. Gregory drains a three there, making it a three-point game, 108-105. Juwan Malone, ball isn't super controlled. Herkimer able to recover. Pass to Gregory. Gregory again! Not quite. And it is 108-105 now. Martin's ball here. Time out called. We will be back in just a minute. back a minute 14 left of play three point difference between the two teams with the Bennington Martins on top 108 105 it's going to be Martin's ball here Tobias Holmes will inbound passes it over to John Riles but a foul called on the play before that is able to happen John Riles going to the line one of the vets here the 23 year old guard from College of St. Joseph's, also in Vermont, so another local guy, to the Bennington area. John Riles has put up some big points in both games against the Ballers. Definitely one of their better players. Some displeasure from the Martins bench there. One oh eight, one oh five. 
108-105 here. Just a minute 14 to play. Going to the line now will be Nick Craig. The guard, he was an ABA honorable mention last year, put up 17 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists per game. So obviously a very solid player if he's able to average a triple-double for a whole season. Seems like someone might be in some foul trouble, according to owner Sean Pratt, who's been very vocal tonight. Some discussion between the refs. Now, there's no foul outs in ABA basketball. Once you get six fouls, rules change. I believe you get two shots automatically, no matter the level of the foul, whether it's a shooting foul or a foul on the floor. But it looks like there will be a quick break while the refs figure this out, so we'll be right back. Eight, 105 the Martins lead one minute and eight seconds to go welcome back to ABA basketball on SFBN and we have a real nail biter here for you it's going to go down to the wire as it seems right now Nick Craig the 6'5 guard number 13 at the line first shot is good 108 106 now the score some more discussion Craig will take another shot now. Nick Craig, like I mentioned, ABA honorable mention last year. A very solid player. Been a solid role player tonight. That shot, not quite, as it'll stay 108-106. Nick Craig once again. That one's good. And he will now go to the line for not a third, but a fourth. Foul shot. 108, 107 the score now. With a minute and eight left to play. That one's good. Seems like we got a tie ball game here. A great one. Out at Notre Dame High School in New York. Ball stolen. Herkimer ball. Passes it out. Sean Pratt gets the call he wants. That was a backcourt violation. Seems like it might be 108-107 with 52, almost 53 seconds left to play. The 3D, 3D light will go on. Some commotion here. And we are down to just over 40 seconds left. 108-107. Real nail biter here. The refs having a little bit of a argument with uh, Herkimer's head coach Steve Babiars. The three D light is appears to be on. Keith Mason at the line now. He will take three shots. Number forty four. Nathan's first one, not quite. They need Mason to drill these other two, though, if they want to take a solid lead here. Heath Mason, the 6'7 forward at a Castleton University, also in Vermont. A lot of Vermont natives here playing for the Bennington Martins. And if they're not from Vermont, most likely they're from upstate New York, which is where Herkimer's from. So very, very funny that uh, both teams are rocking players that are close to their hometown. Keith Mason in his first season with the Bennington Martins. A 
and some more discussion between the refs and players and coaches. Seems like this last minute has gone on for 10 minutes. As we keep starting and stopping, hopefully Mason's able to get his shots off. Nick Craig pointing at the ref, and it seems like play will be resumed. Mason. Crowd getting loud now. Number 44, Heath Mason. Second shot. Bang! A much-needed shot there for Mason. He'll get a chance to hit one more. Another shot would make it a three-point lead. Much needed for the Martins. Any bit of security in this game is all you can ask for with just over 40 seconds left. It's going to go down to the wire. Heath Mason. His third shot. He drills it. 110, 107. Herkimer's got to work quickly here. Evans with the ball. Gets it to Ralph Williams. He's going to move quickly up the court. Williams. Trying to get something going here. Doesn't want to leave too much time on the clock. Williams to the side. Shot is up. Shot is off. Rebound. It's going to be Herkimer ball. Able to get it back to Ralph Williams. Williams out. Pass. Shot. Nick Craig drills it. 1-10. 1-10. We have a tie game with 15.5 seconds left. Oh my goodness. Nick Craig proving to be the savior tonight. He's had some big plays towards the end, including that beautiful three-pointer. And we will go to a timeout, but when we come back, some more exciting ABA basketball. You could not ask for a much better game than this. 110, 110, 15.5 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh my goodness, what a shot back there by Nick Craig, proving why he deserved ABA honorable mention honors last year. Really trying to save the day here for the Herkimer OGs. Couldn't ask for a much better game than this. I'm sure both Harry Roll and Steve Babiars, both coaches are happy with their players, but won't be too happy until the job's done. The Herkimer OGs, the origin of basketball, hoping to get a much-needed win tonight, and we will go back to the timeout. <laughs> And welcome back, 110-110. Once again, there's 15 and a half seconds in the fourth quarter. These last two plays will decide it all 15 seconds for who comes home the winner, who comes home the loser. Moving around, moving around. It's going to be Herkimer Ball. Ball is out on the sideline. 11.6 seconds to go. Herkimer bench cheering. And Gregory will come into the game for Christian here. And it is going to stay with the Herkimer OGs here as Javon Evans will inbound the ball. 111, 110 here. And he got called for a push there. Wow. Nick Craig gets knocked on the ground by Jawan Malone. 
9.4 seconds remaining now. And some more communication. It's going to be Nick Craig at the line. He hit that three to tie the game. And now he has a chance to give Herkimer a bigger lead here. This game is far from over, though. With 9.3 seconds, anything could happen. Craig at the line. He has been the clutch guy for the OGs in this fourth quarter. His first shot. That one's off. Not what he wanted to do there. Bradley Christian moving in to the paint to hopefully grab a rebound. If his second shot's off, he'll have to fight DeMonte White for it, though. Martin's big man. His second shot. That one's off. And he'll go for a third. Needs to hit something here. Wanting to give his team some insurance. Nick Craig. His third shot. No good. Martin's recover. Ball is passed. John Riles. Shot is good. 112. And a bit of confusion here. 112, 111, and we have 1.8 seconds left on the clock. We'll stop time. Be back for the final seconds of this game. We are back 112 to 111, 1.7 seconds left on the clock and only a one point lead for the Martins. Can't expect anything better than this. Crazy way to end this game, but not over yet because Herkimer still has a chance to hopefully, if for their sake, get a bucket and end this game. It's going to be Herkimer ball. Ralph Williams will inbound. Not a lot of time to do anything here. Watch Nick Craig on this one. Hit inbound pass will likely be going to him. And he's called for a violation. Tosses the ball down, and I, I believe that's game. I think that uh, Ralph Williams was called for a violation on that. Still a little bit of confusion over what's happening here, but... Uh, I don't think he got the pass in in time, so I think that might end the game for Herkimer. We're still figuring it out. Not quite, I guess. It's going to be Herkimer ball once again. They'll get a second chance at this. Second chance at life. Owner Sean Pratt trying to give some words of wisdom to his, to his boys out on the court. One more chance here for Herkimer. Just over a second left. Still a little bit of confusion on what's going on here. One hundred twelve, one hundred eleven. A really great game offensively for both teams. Definitely some sloppier points for both teams. Both teams went on hot streaks. It was kind of just a back and forth game all night, and it's ended in about the most back and forth way you can have it. The one point lead with one and a half seconds left. Not quite over yet. Because it appears that the Herkimer OGs will get a second chance at life here. Thought there might have been a violation, but apparently not. Ralph Williams will stay on the inbounds. He's got a few options out there, but he's got to make it quick. Some movement. Williams passes the ball. 
And that game is over. The Bennington Martins secure the win in an absolute nail-biter, 112-111. A great game for them. And a big shout-out to John Riles, because he led the way most of the game. A great game from Ralph Williams from Herkimer, but they weren't able to pull it off right at the end. What a game. Couldn't ask for a better one. Thank you for watching ABA basketball between the Bennington Martins and Herkimer OGs on SFBN. And have a great night.